Hello, in this video I will explain how you can construct a box plot in Excel. A box plot visualizes some descriptive data such as median, first and third quartile, and outliers of a variable. It is a fast and easy way to offer a first ID of the underlying distribution of a variable. On the Excel sheet I have listed some observations of two variables, variable 1 and variable 2. We have 40 observations for each variable. First I'm going to show how to create a box plot. Afterwards, we verify the plot by computing all elements. To create a box plot, you select all observations, including the titles. You do this by selecting cell A1, press Ctrl Shift right arrow, followed by Ctrl Shift down arrow. Next, you navigate to Insert and then to Insert Statistic Chart. Click on the down arrow and select Box and Whisker Plot. The box plot appears on the screen and the format chart area opens as a side panel. Here you can format the appearance of the chart. If you click on one of the box plots itself, you can alter the data series appearance and quartile calculation options. The calculation method for the quartiles can be changed under the three bars icon. There you can choose to include or exclude the median from the calculation. Other elements you can alter in that section are the width of the box plot, which points to appear on the plot, and whether or not to highlight the mean value on the plot. The two other icons at the top of the side panel can be used to adapt the look of the data. You can change the color, the size, the borders, and so on. When you click on the plot, you see Chart Design and Format appear in the ribbon. Under Chart Design, you can change the type and layout of your plot. Next to that, you can also alter the selected data. Let's change the layout a bit. First, I'm going to choose a title. Let's use Box Plot. Next, we add a legend. To do this, you navigate to Add Chart Element. Then we choose Legend and select the location of the legend. I'm going for Right. Finally, let's add data labels to the chart. You do this at the same location as the legend option. Now that we have shown how to construct the box plot, we will verify the figures shown on the plot. The box itself on a box plot shows three descriptive data points, the medium value, the first quartile and the third quartile. With Excel's medium function, you can calculate the median. With the quartile function, you can calculate the quartiles. The medium function only requires an array as input and gives us the median value of that array of numbers. The quartile function requires an array and the number 0 until 4 that indicates which quartile you are looking for. Note that 0 will return the minimum and for the maximum value within the array. The horizontal line below the box is a whisker. This represents the minimum with a pre-specified width from the first quartile. The other whisker represents the maximum within a pre-specified width from the third quartile. The pre-specified width is computed by 1.5 times the interquartile range. This is calculated in the help value section. You calculate the interquartile range by subtracting the first quartile value from the third quartile value. The upper whisker limit can then be computed by adding 1.5 times the interquartile range to the third quartile. The lower whisker calculates by subtracting 1.5 times the interquartile range from the first quartile. Remark that these values do not appear on the plot and are only values helping in calculating the outlier values. We have indicated this on the left side of the tables. To compute the whisker values now, it suffices to find the minimum and maximum values within the upper and lower whisker limits. You do this by using the minif and maxif functions. For these functions, you first enter the range of which you would like to take the minimum or maximum. Then you enter the range on which you would like to set a certain criterion. As a third element, you can enter the required criterion. Here both ranges are the same. They are just all observations for the variable. We would like to find the minimum above the lower whisker limit and the maximum below the upper whisker limit. So you enter the criterion higher than or equal to the lower whisker limit within the minifs function and the other way around for the maxifs function. The last points highlighted in the box plot are the outliers. We want to find all observations that fall outside our whisker limit to find this, we use a few functions, index, small, if, and row. The index function returns the value on a given position in a range. 
the small function sorts the range and then returns the end element as you indicate with the second function argument. The if function returns a certain chosen value in case the given condition is true. You can also add another value to appear in case the given condition is false. The row function returns the row number for a given cell. In case you perform the row function on a range, an array is returned with all row numbers of the cells in the range. Now that we know what each function does, we are ready to analyze the entire function in the if function, the condition indicates to find all observations that fall outside the whisker limits. For all those observations, the corresponding row number is returned by the if function. The small function then sorts those row numbers and returns the first, second, and so on. Finally, index returns the observation value itself, corresponding to the row numbers. Keep in mind that the second input of the small function will alter when we drag the formula down. So in the cell where we type the formula, the first observation outside the whisker interval will be returned. When we drag the formula one cell down, the second observation will be observed, and so on until we reach the total number of outliers. As you can see, we have three outliers for variable one, and one for variable two. The graph and table show the box plot and all calculated values once more. As you can see, they are all exactly the same as expected. This concludes our tutorial on Excel Boxplot. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Excel or software related tutorials. Questions or comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.